Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to demonstrate and I'm going to teach you guys how to create this amazing pink, beautiful look. So let's get started. I'm applying my P. Louise base per usual using a flat concealer brush. Uh, you guys know the drill. If you guys have been watching my past uh, videos, you'll know I always start with the eyes. I shape out the eyebrows first. And then I'll go ahead and apply the base all over the lid and then blend out my shadows, which you'll see me doing in a second. So guys, I used um, the Secret Sinner palette by P. Louise and the shades from this palette I used are called Love Shy, Pleasure, and s and So I started off with Love Shy and that's the first color I applied and then I went in with Pleasure which is the second blend and then s and which will be my third blend. So the easiest way to explain my blending method would be um okay so think about it this way the darker the eyeshadow color that you're using the smaller the brush should be the lighter the color of the eyeshadow the fluffier your brush should be so when you see me blending out those dark shades my first blend i'm always using a smaller brush and then my second blend the brush is going to be slightly bigger than the first brush and then my third blend is going to be the last blend which is a really light shade and you see me blending it closer to the eyebrow that brush is a lot fluffier and that one i believe was the morphe m514 okay so recently i've been loving this method and it's just cleaning up the lid space using vaseline and a flat concealer brush um, the reason why I love doing this, I feel like the end result, the end look is just so clean and it looks so beautiful and my cut crease looks so flawless. So yeah, I've been doing this a lot lately, just going in with Vaseline, cutting that crease, removing all that extra shadow that fell on the lid, and then going in with my P. Louise Blink Canvas uh, paint just to give that perfect cut crease. Now I'm going to cut the crease using the P. Louise blank canvas paint and I'm using a flat concealer brush. Um, this brush is by Masterstrokes. You guys are pro art. You guys can screenshot that right there. It's the number eight. I purchased it on eBay. I went back to my purchase and tried to repurchase this brush for my students and you guys, they're not delivering to the U.S. anymore which is so annoying and so irritating because so many of my students wanted this brush and I can't even get my hands on it. So if anyone knows where I, where any other place I can purchase it from, if you guys are familiar with this brush, please message me. I would really appreciate it. Um, a good dupe for this brush would be the P. Louise brushes that come with their like paint. So like if you purchase the um, their paints, it comes with a brush and you guys, those brushes work amazing as well. So I went ahead and cut the crease and then what I'm doing right now is just reapplying those blends to the edge, like kind of blending. If you guys look to on the other eye, you see how harsh that those ends are. So we don't like that. We don't want those. We want it to be blended out seamlessly. So I'm just going back in with Love Shy, Pleasure and s &M. From that palette, the Secret Center palette, and I'm reapplying those on the sides just because I feel like it looks beautiful when the sides are blended in, just like the top blend. But yeah, and then I'm using Peri Wrinkle by me. So if you guys want this glitter, go to chris, uh, chrismetics.com and you'll find it on there. And I'm just applying this glitter straight onto that P. Louise Blink Canvas. Um, and it looks amazing. I loved the turnout to this look.
Okay, so next up I'm using Maybelline Gel Liner in the shade Black is Black. And I'm just going to create a really thin line. The reason for this is because I'm going to put a very thick lash on her and I just need the lash to blend into her eye seamlessly and I don't want any type of like um, colors peeping through when I apply the lash. So I just decided on creating a thin line just so the lashes blend through. But yeah, gel liner, Maybelline, black is black, and this brush I'm using is by P. Louise. So if you're a working makeup artist out there, please make sure you're using a disposable spoolie like this one when you're applying lashes because you never want to double dip into your products. That is just nasty. So yeah, apply the mascara, throw your wand out, and then apply your lashes. Okay, so I applied some lash glue onto these lashes and I let them sit on the counter for a good minute until it was tacky and then I applied it onto her eye. But during the meantime, I was cleaning up her face and just preparing it for some moisturizer and primer. Okay, so for um, primer slash moisturizer, I'm using my favorite product. It's called Miracle Cream and it's by Juno & Co. You guys, I can't stress enough how much I love this product. It literally works on every client that sits in my chair. It blurs out the pores. It hydrates the life out of my client's skin. It preps, it primes, it moisturizes. It's all in one. It's freaking amazing. And I think it's only like $20. And if you use my code Chrismetics, you'll save money. But yeah, every makeup artist or non-makeup artist, you guys need this in your kit. Okay, so for foundation, I'm using Huda Beauty. Um, and I'm just going to apply this all over her face. And then the brush I'm going to use is by Morphe. It's the M536 brush. It says it's like made for under the eye, like when you're applying concealer, but I love it as a foundation brush. So I just go ahead and push that product into the skin. And I'm matching the foundation to her body, not her face and not her neck. And the reason why I do this is because we wash our face, so we exfoliate a lot. So typically, normally our face is either too dark or too light. Um... And our neck barely gets any sun, so it's always going to be lighter. So the best way that i found to match foundation to my clients is by applying a little bit on the chest area to see if it matches the body. And if it matches the body, then I'll go ahead and apply it to the face and the neck. So that way the neck and the face matches their body. So if they're going to a wedding and the top of their dress is all exposed and it's opened, their face matches their body. So I get a lot of messages, um, especially on my TikTok, and a lot of girls ask, well, why are you using an orange shade when your client has pink undertones? Um, let me address that because you guys don't see what's going on with like the body and the color on her chest. So she's been in the sun and for some reason her body is darker than her neck and her face. So therefore um, I applied the foundation on her chest. I found the color that matches her body. So I'm going to I'm going to use that same color to on her face and on her neck so that way when someone is looking at her from a distance, she looks like she's one color, all one color. So I can't use a foundation that matches her face because it would be way too light and it wouldn't match her body and she'd have that line across her jaw area where you can tell like, okay, what's going on? She's two different shades. No, I can't do that. So I have to match all my clients' um, foundation to their body and not the neck and not the face. So if you're at home, give that a shot try it out, blend up, you apply the foundation onto your body and blend that color upward to your neck and your, and your face. Because I've had people like match the foundation to their face and then they would have to blend that color all the way down to their neck and their body. And I'm like, uh, -uh it doesn't look, I don't like the way that that looks. I'd rather blend up than down. 
So after blending the foundation out with a brush, I always use a beauty blender just to um, get that really amazing flawless look and what a beauty blender does is just picks up that extra foundation that's not needed and just gives you an overall like flawless look so for under the eye i'm using the covergirl true blend undercover concealer um you guys i love this concealer but you gotta work really fast with it because it's like full coverage and it dries up so quickly so as soon as you apply it to the face make sure your beauty blender is ready so you can go in and blend this bad boy out because i'm telling you if you don't do it really quick it'll dry up and it'll be really hard to blend out once it's dried up so for placement, I always apply the concealer in the T-zone area. So under the eye, the forehead, the bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, and chin. And I always go with like a lighter shade just to give that area of the face, the T-zone, a highlighted look. And then again, going in with my beauty blender and just pushing that product into the skin. Um... Sometimes I use a lot of product, which is totally fine, but my beauty blender will be like soaked up with product. So what I like to do is just keep a paper towel in my hand. So that way, once I feel like my beauty blender is just full of product, I'll soak most of that product out on my beauty blender. Um, so yeah, that's my little trick to get a full coverage, flawless look. So I'm cream contouring her using a foundation, which is by Dermablend, and it's the Flawless Creator Foundation. I love this foundation to cream contour because it's so thin. Um, it blends seamlessly. It doesn't give like any harsh lines, and I just apply a little bit at a time just to give it dimension. And yeah, if you go in with too much um too quickly it's going to become a mess it's going to become muddy so make sure you're using a little bit of product at a time blending it out and if you feel like you need more add more and the brush i'm using is by moda it's m-o-d-a i don't remember the type of brush the name of it or the number i don't think it has a number i think it just has like a name but i will get it and i'll have it in the description box below So doing the same thing on the other side of her face, um, I'm just using the same foundation by Dermablend Flawless Creator, shade number 72, and just applying some on her forehead and blending that out with a brush and a beauty blender to get like an overall perfect blend. So I'm just going to go back and forth and just blend this out with a brush and a beauty blender. And then I definitely do like to step back, take a look, make sure it's even, make sure it's fully blended out, um, apply more product where it's needed. So yeah, you'll just see me going back and forth during this process. Using my favorite setting powder, um, this is by Huda Beauty in the shade Pound Cake. I'm just going to apply this right under her eye to set that concealer um, and just buff away the extra product. I don't like to bake. A lot of people ask me if I bake. I don't like to bake, especially on my clients, because um, it's just too much. And a lot of my clients don't like the baked look. I mean, I like it on myself at times, but again, not always, just because like you got to be careful. It does make you look a lot older if you're baking for way too long because that powder will set and yeah it's just I'm not a fan of it so everywhere I applied the concealer I'm gonna set it with powder um, which is forehead under eyes bridge of the nose uh, Cupid's bow chin so on and so forth you guys know the drill um, so with this look I decided on using a white or if you don't have white you can always use nude 
um, liner for in the waterline. Uh, I just wanted something different. I normally do like a black liner to give it more of a bold, dramatic look. But for this look, I decided on doing more nude just to open up that eye and make it look different. And then whatever colors I use on top, I'm going to go ahead and use them on the bottom. And again, the shades are Love Shy, Pleasure, and S&M from the P. Louise um, Secret Center palette. So I started off with Love Shy and I used a smudger brush to apply that shade. And then I used a fluffier brush for Pleasure. And I applied that right below Love Shy. And then I'm, I'm using a... I don't remember, I'm sorry, I don't remember what brush I used for SM, but I will find out and let you know. And then for the inner corner of the eye, I'm using Nylon by MAC Cosmetics and just applying that in the inner corners of the eye. And to bronze and contour, I'm using this palette by Rude Cosmetics. It's called 3D Palette. And I'm just using the darkest shade in that palette on a Morphe M530 brush and just going over that liquid contour and just um, deepening up the color. So I'm using my favorite blusher. This is by KKW and Mario. It's called Very Graceful. Um, Very Graceful. Sorry, can't speak today. But yeah, this is literally my favorite blusher and I use it on all my clients. And then for highlighter, I'm using JCAT's Beauty in the shade Twilight. You can use the sh uh, code Chrismetics. I told you guys I can't speak today. I don't know what's wrong with me. But yeah, use code Chrismetics to save money. Um, I literally love this highlighter. It works amazing. All right, you guys, can we talk about how beautiful this look already looks behind a camera? Like, come on now. I'm so obsessed with it. So I picked up a little bit more product on a new clean spoolie. And I'm just applying some of that product on her lower lash. Make sure you're constantly telling your client to look up and stay looking up because you don't want that mascara to transfer under the eye because it'll be a pain in the butt to remove. Um, if your client needs to blink, they can blink real quick, but stay looking up. And if you feel like they're watering, then just give them some space, let them breathe, and then go back in. So, yeah. And then I'm using the El Maquillage Lip Liner in the shade Brown. I definitely do overline. Um, I just love the fluffy, plumpy look of lips. So um, what I do is I'll take like a brown lip liner like this one to contour with. I'll draw the lips out um, and then I go like a little further out than the natural lip line, if that makes sense, to overline. Um, and then I'll just go back and forth right now. It looks crazy, but I know I'm going to go back and fix that line. Make sure they're both symmetrical. Both sides of the lips are symmetrical and the bottom one too. Um, sometimes I do mess up and I overdo it. I'll just take a concealer brush and some of the foundation that I used on her face and I'll just go in and clean that line up and make sure it's not too far out. Um, and then once I'm done lining the lip, I'll go ahead and use my lip lipstick. And this is the KKW 90s Glam lipstick. And I'm using a Morphe M124 brush. And then all I'm going to do is just apply the lipstick and then blend the lip liner into the lipstick. Make sure you're blending it out. If you're not, you're just going to have like a harsh brown lip liner and then there's going to be just lipstick there i mean a lot of people like that style i personally love a blended look so yeah just make sure you're applying that lipstick on top of the lip liner to blend it out so for this look um i applied this nude lipstick on her and then i stepped back and i'm like i like the nude but i just wanted a like an umph to the look, like I wanted more to it. So I remember I did um, end up going in with a lip, like a pink lipstick.
So here's where I decided I needed some pink to the lip and I used the, um, this is by NYX and I think it's in the shade Ensemble. I don't remember exactly guys, I apologize, but I will find out and I'll leave it in the link below. So yeah, I don't know, I really like the pink and a lot of other people did, but you can definitely pull a nude, you can do a pink, you can do what makes you happy. I just preferred this look. And then I used another shade, which was more glossy. Um, I kind of wish I stopped right before this. I feel like that second lip lipstick that I applied on her looked better than this gloss, but whatever. It is what it is. We're just going to stick with it. And it ended up still looking amazing at the end. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'm here for it. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. Um, I love you guys and thanks for the love and support. I see you all.